Our Father in heaven, please give us wisdom and understanding for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, my friends. We are going to study 100 plus reasons why not to use drums. I'm just going to summarize first and then we are going to go deep. So number one is the spirit of prophecy has no positive encouragement about it. Number two is drums are not always timbrels and timbrels are not always equivalent to drums. Number three, it is highly associated with sorcery. Number four, is that it is highly associated with witchcraft. Number five is that we cannot bring questionable, disputable things to the, doc, uh, to the pulpit according to the church manual. Number six, drums cannot really express reverence. Number seven, the rest of the reasons are that if you Google, there are so many uh, worldly links towards drums millions and millions and millions of links number eight drums are not prescribed number nine drums are not prescribed in the bible number 10 drums call are used to call on the enemy and number 11 there are many testimonies that demons like actually drums number 12 Misfocus. There are 33,000 verses in the Bible and drums are not encouraged anywhere. Number 13. The spirit of prophecy encourages use of musical instruments but call some of them as rubbish. Number 14. It can become your idol, especially if it hardens your heart. Number 15, only music can make that makes the heart soft is acceptable to God. Number 16, instruments of witchcraft and sorcery must be put to death. Number 17, you must be promoting something God has, you might be promoting something God has not commanded you to promote. Number 18, you might be speaking in the name of other gods. Number 19, what is your motivation anyway of using drums? Who is requiring you to defend drums? Number 20, it is the, have the resemblance of theatrical display. Number 21, sometimes even the orchestra mixed with rock music gives away to the entrance of drums in the church. Number 22, due to high association with evil, drums are the appearance of evil to those especially who have seen the evils that drum is associated with. Number 23, the nearest but not exactly useful because drums are not timbers. The nearest argument of drums in heaven is Ezekiel 28, 13, which says that Lucifer was given timbrels. Yan. Number 24, they are in heaven. We will all be holding harps. When you are holding harps, you cannot hold drums. Number 25, out of 50 English versions of the Bible, only a few have used the words drums. Number six, and have no fellowship with an fruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Number 27, the link between percussion instruments and David's success in bringing home the harp. When they brought percussion instruments, the success, they failed in bringing home the ark. Number 28, even the original singing choirs in the Bible armies have now evolved in marching bands which the message is not dominant but the boom 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 is dominant and number 29 another testimony which says that drums causes devil possession number 30 ellen white saw heavenly music many times in her visions but she did not see any use of drums number 31 i uh, got tired preaching this uh, truth and somebody else uh, took over and preached this truth, a pastor. Number 32, I got tired again of preaching this truth and somebody else who used to be a drummer started preaching about it. Number 33, I tried, I got tired again and somebody else also started to preach about it. So what to do? Look for something positively encouraged in the Bible and do it. If there's if it's not there in the Bible, maybe it's a waste of time 
and let us be careful not to create studies or doctrines or principles just to defend our idols, our practices. Rather, base our faith and practice in the clear, thus saith the Lord. Okay, now let's go more deeper into this, okay? The reason I wrote this is because one of my friends said that there can be drums in heaven. So I saw in... Uh, there's a pastor who is very good. He is a lawyer. He is an accountant. He has not lost any case in court. And he is a lawyer. He is a pastor, ordained pastor, and he's an accountant. He said that to study, to get the truth for anything, you have to study all the positive and all the negative literature in the Bible and in the spirit of prophecy. So I made two studies, one supporting drums, one, su one against drums. And guess what I found? I could not find plenty of evidence supporting drums in heaven, music, or in worship, even in the Bible. It's very hard. And when I, I made two papers. I threw away the other one, and this is the result that is against drums. Number one, spirit of prophecy has no positive encouragement about it. You have to look very carefully at, at this. It says in MAR 234, paragraph 1, Demonstrations using drums will be there before the close of probation. So if you want to use drums, you are a fulfillment of prophecy. However, it's not a positive fulfillment. It's like the a fulfillment of the prophecy about Judas. It's a prophecy, but it's not positive. And who is going to use them? Fanatics, according to 2SM, page 36. Look at this graph. It says here, in the Bible, is there any positive encouragement of uh, drums? Zero. Is there any negative encouragement about drums? Zero. In the spirit of prophecy, is there any positive encouragement? Zero. Is there any negative encouragement or negative uh, sentiment in spirit of prophecy against drums? There is. Therefore, the total is there is negative for present truth. How about singing? Is there any positive in the Bible? Many. Is there many negative? Yes, even the idols of Baal sang. And then about spirit of prophecy, is there positive? Yes, we sing in heaven. They sang here. And negative? Yes, there's also bad singing in the abyss. So it depends on how you sing. Therefore, how about dancing? Is there plenty of positive encouragement in the Bible about dancing? Yes. Is there many negative? Yes. There was also dancing. Jezebel also danced. And even the uh, idolaters, they also danced. How about in spirit of prophecy? In the present truth, is there any encouragement for dancing? No, there is no encouragement. How about in negative yes there are some negative sentiments about dancing therefore the current truth the present truth is not advised now to dance okay so that's the same logic uh, table that i used there is no positive encouragement therefore we don't need to do it all drums are percussions but not all percussion are drums drums are not this is the subset theory drums are not tabrots and timbrels timbrels not all drums are timbrels but all timbrels are drums i hope you understand the difference drums are used to call on evil spirits in chinese indian jamaican and other cultures we don't bring our culture to heaven but we integrate heavenly culture in our worship drums are negatively prophesied by ellen g white so it will be there but woe to them who fulfills the negative prophecy like the prophecy of judas in matthew 26 21 to 25 number two drums are not timbrels and timbrels are not equivalent to drums proof in spirit of prophecy proof number one Spirit of prophecy is positive about timbrels, but negative about drums. See? Timbrels are positive in spirit of prophecy. Drums are negative. Therefore, 
drums and timbrels shouldn't be treated in one group. This is where many artists and preachers uh, cannot uh, express too much because of lack of logic in uh, education, logic and logical thinking. We cannot say that drums are okay, it becomes fuzzy to them. We cannot say drums are okay just because timbrels are okay, because there's a difference. Spirit of Prophecy cannot affirm that position because SOP is positive with timbrels and negative with drums. Therefore, they are not the same in the context of today. From LG White Comprehensive Index, it says, Timbrels, Israel used them at the Red Sea. Drums, demonstrations using drums before the close of probation, and fanatics used and will use tim uh, drums, sorry. So therefore, timbrels is equal to tambourine. Just look at Google Images and you can see that there are both. So this is the logic about this. For example, <clears throat> all of the health message is vegetarianism. This is false. Next, vegetarianism is part of the health message. This is true. Therefore, we comparing it to drums, all drums are all timbrels are drums. It is true. The other one, all drums are timbrels. This is a false logic statement. So, yeah, that is the subset or set theory. Uh, timbrels are a subset of drums. Okay, number three. Drums are highly associated with sorcery. Ellen G. White says in Manuscript 82, 1900s, 3SM332, paragraph 2, It is not safe for the Lord's workers to take part in worldly entertainments. Association with worldliness in musical lines is looked upon as harmless by some Sabbath keepers, but such ones are on dangerous ground. Thus Satan seeks to lead men and women astray, and thus he has gained control of souls. So smooth, so plausible is the working of the enemy that his wiles are not suspected, and many church members become lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Okay, be careful. Not only is the drum hypnotic, this is, not, uh, this is from another reference, from the world not only is the drum hypnotic in the usual sense it may be like comfort the drum is not a cultural oddity that beats only selective primitives into insensibility okay that is the reference you can look at my blog the link is in, down in the description of the video so can you can uh, click all these links number two three dot two reviews Chatham, Kit Chatham reviews Classical Drummer magazine. It says, the professional drummer is one of the stars of the Circle D or whatever, or snare drum sorcery. So if you look at these pictures, you will see that uh, this is really very dangerous instrument. This looks like a shaman or something, spiritualist. This looks like, oh, this is a really terrible thing with so many images of death. And drums is a very, uh, very present instrument. Also, you look at this, it looks very scary. And it is a drum. So, so many associations. Number four. <clears throat> Actually, you can look at more. Highly associated with witchcraft. The same quotation, worldliness in musical lines is not is looked upon as harmless by many Sabbath keepers. And let's look, let's look at some of them here. Number one, a shaman used the witch drum not only as a musical instrument, but also as a magical device, which he implemented in order to induce himself into a mystical something. Wow. Drum circles are regular events within our local pagan community cyberwitchcraft.com beating the drums for witchcraft berkeley chemist validates remedies 
isaw kubo lives his tiny crowded laboratory in the basement oh so this is dangerous off beat of bare fat drums and tea the witch of forest grove i taught him how to render fat and he showed me his style of drum making with the two bear hides he brought the hunk of the bear was so huge etc number five which in the wood that come wicca spiritual path studies wicca 101 spell casting honoring the goddess ritual work sabbaths at sabbat full moon divination drum circle okay shaman drum on trial okay. this is another shaman mind body and spirit that code that nz look at this what they are doing and pagan magic co uk musical instruments card okay that's used in pagan magic what else which of uh, forest groove that come shamanism a small drum and a very big drum number five we cannot bring questionable or disputable things to the pulpit we ask we can ask people not to bring drums to church just because we are not sure about drums because ellen g white says to the effect that the pulpit should be used for things which are sure about in gospel workers chapter 8 dangers it is not a theological forum where we can say things that we are still studying about and not sure about so people can comment a church pulpit or a service is not a forum new ideas and new music should be treated like the same <clears throat> sda manual church manual chapter 17 it says pulpit is not a forum it says no minister church elder or other person has the right to make the pulpit a forum for advocating disputed points of doctrine therefore we cannot advocate drums in church because it is questionable number six drums cannot express reverence you really understand reverence we bow before god the only way a drum can express reverence is to keep quiet <clears throat> or <clears throat> use drums to put water or uh, washing of feet <clears throat> number seven the rest of the reasons are here it says there are 11 million hits when you type drums and sorcery in google three million when you type drums and witchcraft eight million when you type drums and spiritualism that's another one the spiritual dancing they are using drums this is as uh, spiritual church drummers you see there is a uh, religionist drummers who are there being raised an atheist spiritualist agnostic and religionist forces art birth alchemical rims between god and science evolution creationism and chaos and order <clears throat> Another one, Circle of Inner Light Spiritual Community. This is their picture of their use of many kinds of drums. What else? Health tone, drum protocols, music, healing, dancing, sharing, grooves. Oh, this is dangerous. Witchcraft. Haunted American tours. Oh, drums again. What else? House clearing and metaphysical intuitive artwork party. Drum again. Instead of evaluating every instance and millions of the enemy's inventions, as if we can learn truth when we look at evil, <clears throat> if you want to learn truth, look at light, not evil. Let us go back to Cain and Abel's story. God has prescribed way of worship. We just have to look at the Bible and affirm our interpretation with spirit of prophecy if it's not prescribed in bible and spirit of prophecy isaiah 8 20 says i'm sorry it says there is no light in them so there is a prescription you don't have to look at all the inventions of the enemy of his own worship style but look at what is prescribed in the bible affirmed interpretation spirit prophecy so that we can be sure that it is prescribed number eight drums are not prescribed 
Okay? Cain can say, oh, it's not prohibited to offer vegetables only. But it is not prescribed. The prescribed is you offer vegetables and the lamb sacrifice. Okay? Ellen G. White says, uh, both of them offer the first fruits. Number nine, drums are not prescribed in the Bible. Singing, plenty. Harps, plenty. Psaltery, plenty. Timbrels, plenty. Trumpets, plenty. Cymbals, some. Drums, zero. Therefore, <clears throat> it's not prescribed in the Bible. Number 10, drums call on the enemy. If drums are used millions of times in witchcraft and sorcery, like other rituals, then it might be one of the call signs or names of the enemy. Because when they use the drums, the enemy comes. Therefore, it is a name of the enemy. Number 11, there are many testimonies that demons like drums with uh, songs with drum in one testimony of a person who used to be possessed by 12 demons he says they enjoy worldly music played by other people even if the other people who are playing music are actually in the next room they also wonder why the same these are the people who are who used to have contact with evil spirits and they are wondering why they are playing the same genre in church sometimes and which they enjoy because they identify what kind of music they don't like the lyrics but they like the demons like the style because there are drums and there's other testimonies as well the more testimonies the more maybe it's true miss focus number 12 very important the bible has 33,000 verses. Spirit of prophecy, plenty of things that it says you should do this and you should study this. Has thousands of other things, thousands of other things that are recommended, required, encouraged that we should do it, but we cannot find drums anywhere encouraged among Bible and spirit of prophecy. So why are we trying to look <clears throat> bothering with something that we cannot even find there. It is clearly a misfocus. There are many truths that God encourages, requires us to do. Drums are not part of those. Number 13, Spirit of Prophecy encourages the use of in musical instruments, but it calls some of them rubbish. It says here in Book Evangelism, page 512, Musical instruments, let the talent of singing be brought into the work. The use of musical instruments is not at all objectionable. There were used, if, if, the, if this is the whole SOP, then it is it. But SOP is plenty. Let's read the following paragraphs to get clarity on this. They were used in religious services in ancient times. The worshippers praised God upon the harp and the cymbal, and music should have its place in our services it will add interest and the quote says that we are not opposed to oppose the use of musical instruments in our music work but under that paragraph is entitled emphasis on congregational singing choir and congregational singing so that is the context actually if that is all there is read about then there would be nothing else to say but there are hundreds of other sentences regarding music which we have to weigh harmonize this sentence amongst with to understand what she meant for a tip one might read evangelism page 15 entitled song evangelism to close the chapter it says the lord has revealed to me that when the heart is cleansed and sanctified and the members of the church are partakers of the divine nature, a power will go forth from the church who believe the truth that will cause melody in the heart. Men and women will not depend upon their instrumental music but on the power and grace of God which will give fullness of joy. There is a work to be done 
in clearing away the rubbish which has been brought into the church. What is the rubbish, my friend? This is not the only uh, for the church. This is not only for the church at Blanc, but for every church that has followed her example. So, there is actually rubbish in some instrumental or in some instruments and some music. Now, let us look at all the instruments in the Spirit of Prophecy and see which one is linked with rubbish. My friend, number 14, which one is linked with rubbish? There is rubbish in our music, in our church. Which one of those is the most probable rubbish? Number 14, it can become your idol, especially if it hardens your heart. It says, music acceptable to God. The superfluities which have been brought into the worship in blank must be strenuously avoided. Music is acceptable to God only when the heart is sanctified and made soft by holy its holy and made soft and holy by its facilities. If your heart becomes hard because of those music, it has become your idol, my friend. But many who delight in music know nothing of making melody with their hearts to the Lord. Their heart is gone after their idols. Evangelism, page 512, paragraph 1. Okay, number 15. Only music that makes the heart soft is acceptable to God. Music is acceptable to God only when the heart is sanctified and made soft and holy by its facilities. Number 16. Instruments of witchcraft and sorcery must be put to death. According to Exodus 22, 18, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. A witch is somebody who calls on the evil spirits. Leviticus 20, 27, A man or woman who is a medium or spiritist among you must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their blood will be on their own heads. So if you are somebody is using drums and evil spirits are coming, I think that is witchcraft and sorcery and that practice should be put to death. Maybe not the person, just sometimes people don't know what they are doing. We have to educate them. <clears throat> Number 17, you might be promoting something that God has not commanded you to promote. It says here, this is called presumption. But the prophet who speaks a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or which he speaks in the name of other gods, oh, 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 that prophet shall die. If you don't repent, Deuteronomy 18.10 says, you are saying that there is drums in heaven, but you cannot find it in the Bible. It is called presumptuously. And if we don't repent of that idea, we will die, according to the Bible. Number 18, you might be speaking in the name of other gods. Since drums are used to call evil spirits, they serve as a name of those spirits. And using drums is like using the name of evil spirits. Deuteronomy 18 says, <clears throat> those who speak in the name of other gods, they will die. If they don't repent, of course. <clears throat> Number 19. What is your motivation for using drums? Who is requiring you to defend drums? Is it politics or traditions or practices? Number 20. Semblance of theatrical display. Evangelism, page 501, paragraph 1. He should cut off from his meetings everything that has a semblance of theatrical display. For such outward appearances give no strength to the message that he bears. Therefore, theaters have big subwoofers, you know, with so much bass uh, noise and effects. So we should not put that into our work, according to Ellen White. Number 21. Even the orchestra use of drums 
approach questioning due to modern orchestras adoption of rock music into their mix if you look at modern orchestras these days they put so many of those and the orchestra's use of drums is a nice excuse for rockers to lead to by little by little get their music inside the church gradual it can happen over several decades 22 due to high association with evil drums are the appearance of evil those who have seen especially to those who have seen the evils drum has been associated with first thessalonians 5 22 says abstain from all appearance of evil note that many churches successfully keep drums out of the church but forget to keep drums out of mp3s videos accompaniments music even mission reports sometimes music editors my friends be careful number 23 the nearest but not exactly useful because drums are not timbrels the nearest argument of drums in heaven is in Ezekiel 28:13, which cites that Lucifer was being given timbrels and pipes. But translators are divided on this. If you compare translations in Bible.cc in Ezekiel 28:13, some translations call it sockets, settings, or set. For example, NIV, NLT, ESV, etc. Some of them, KJV, YLT, etc., use the word tabrots or timbrels. Those translations call it timbrels, that call it timbrels, tabrets, tabors, tambours, tambourines, say that they were in the, they were built in Satan or in Lucifer when thou was created. So when they are built in, maybe it's not an instrument. But maybe Lucifer knew how to create those doo, doo, doo sounds. So, yeah. So that was his instrument if you look in the Bible. Number 24. In heaven, everyone of the saved, it says that they were holding harps. If everybody is holding harps with their two hands, there is no possibility that somebody will be holding a drum therefore there are no drums in heaven if you only based from revelation 15 20. otherwise you have to prove that correct with another verse which i don't know where it is 25 out of 50 english versions of the bible only a few the life application bible or the living bible good news bible use the word drums so if you try to weigh or harmonize the meaning against all these possible scholars you will just maybe consider it a mistranslation number 26 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them ephesians 5 11 very sharp uh, verse number 27 the link between percussion instruments and David's success in bringing home the ark. Actually, this point depends on the idea that drums are always equal to timbrels. Which other points in this presentation have proven otherwise? Anyway, just in case we think that it's true, let's take note that in the first attempt, they used percussion instruments in 1 Corinthians 13 and it failed. Maybe because of Usa's, Usa's attitude or maybe that is just a symptom of rebellion. Second attempt, they did not use percussion instrument and they succeeded. They only used wind instruments, strings, and singing in 1 Corinthians 16 and they succeeded in bringing home the ark into the temple. Number 28, even the original singing choirs Dominant is the voice, message, the messages and the praises of the Bible armies have now evolved into marching band. Not that the band or the soldiers are singing, but all you hear is do, 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 do. So it has evolved. Number 29, drums in church causes demon possession. You can click this 
in faith camp there is they are trying to do evangelism and when they tried in india to use the drum in their worship there's somebody there who gets possessed by the evil spirit so let us not try to call the evil spirits by using drums number 30 ellen g white saw heavenly music in her dreams and visions and did but he did, she did not see drums in fact she's tried to put together all the music that looked like heavenly music since she saw heavenly music in heaven and tried to create many uh, song books which he and uh, James White published so uh, if you s there are few people who have seen heavenly music which we believe and they did not see any drums and they did not encourage any drums in fact they discouraged it uh, by the way it doesn't mean that you should sing funeral songs only because number one music was made to serve a holy purpose music can become an idol like what happened to satan to lucifer he was the best singer leader of the choir in heaven music should be reverent and solemn it should be truthful more doctrinal and not funeral songs lng white says we should not sing funeral songs no i mean you don't sing funeral songs in church or you don't make church service like so sad it should be uh, lively but biblically lively use biblical music songs lng white songs are listed songs lng white sang and taught and encouraged and how and even the notes and the accompaniment are in the book early advent singing by ellen g white estate dr james nix who is at this time already retired but you can see a table of content if you click this link number 31 okay you know this truth is very uh difficult to preach because even me i used to like all kinds of music <clears throat> And sometimes I get tired of telling people, so I just let people do whatever they want. I was helping in an evangelism there in another conference. I brought my big sound system because they borrowed my big sound system. And I was so tired and people wanted to play all kinds of music. I said, let them, whatever. I don't, I'm tired to tell people and I don't know the people. So I let them play all the rock religious music they wanted to. But one of the pastors frowned right up on the stage on the music that was played and i felt encouraged that at least you know the bible says revelation doesn't come of private interpretation that means i'm not the only one who is concerned number 32 i got again tired of preaching posting this paper and almost gave up but god sent my friend who used to like drums to post in facebook that he was going to have a concert without any accomplished accompaniment tracks and that was encouragement to me again to continue to uh, propagate this truth because bible says no private interpretation number 33 i got tired again preaching or posting this research and really gave up and god and asked god if this was really his message that somebody else should preach about it uh, just hours after while listening to testimonies the speaker said i was the drummer in her previous denomination but we cannot do it now in our sda church so i was encouraged again because god sent another encouragement without even letting the sun go down that day to encourage me therefore as far as i know my friend this is uh, aligned with the bible and spirit of prophecy so question is <clears throat> what to do what to do next number one look for something that is positively encouraged in the bible and do it if it's not there maybe it's a waste of time and we should be careful not to create doctrines to defend our idols our practices our tastes but rather base our faith and practice 
in the word of God with a clear, thus saith the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this truth, for the cautions in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy, for the prescriptions in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy, for all the truth that you have given through many testimonies, through holy men of God, through the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. We ask that you forgive us from all our previous sins because we did not know or because we were hard-hearted and we did not surrender our music, our tastes to you, Lord. Give us wisdom and understanding to do your work, to make up for the time we lost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.